This is a question is A and B are partners in a farm. The net profit of the farm is divided as one half to A, one third to B and one sixth carat to reserve. And the last sentence, second last line or last sentence tells us you are required to prepare revaluation account, partners capital accounts and balance it of the new farm. Then your working notes and after that we have this uh, note 1 calculation of new profit sharing ratio. Old ratio of A is to B is to reserve is equal to one half is to one third is to one sixth that is equal to old ratio of A is to B one half is to one third that is equal to one half into three by three is to one one by three into two by two that is equal to three by six that is equal to two by six that is equal to three is to two. We solved this then old ratio of A is to B three is to two. This reserve is not a partner it was carried now it went off. Then she is admitted for one fifth share. Now let the total profit of the farm be one. Remaining share of A and B after C's admission is equal to 1 minus 1 by 5. That is equal to LCM 5. 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4 by 5. A's new share 4 by 5 will be shared among A and B in the old ratio of 3 by 5 to A and 2 by 5 to B. That is for A rupees 12 by 25, B rupees 8 by 25, C that is 1 fifth multiplied by 5 by 5 to equalize the denominator that is 5 by 25. Therefore, new ratio of A is to B is to C is equal to 12 is to 8 is to 5. Now, sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio. A sacrifice is equal to old share 3 by 5 minus new share 12 by 25 that is equal to 15 minus 12 upon 25 that is equal to 3 by 25. Likewise, B sacrifice is equal to old share 2 by 5, new share 8 by 25. That is equal to LCM 25 in the numerator 18, 10 minus 8 that is equal to 2 by 25. Therefore, the sacrificing ratio of A is to B is equal to 3 is to 2. Next one is note 2 calculation of original value of stock that is rupees 18,000 multiplied by 100 by 90. Very important that is equal to 20,000. You can see how important is this. This is C part of your adjustment. Stock is undervalued by 10%. It is already undervalued by 10%. It is appearing at 90%. Hence, make it 100% divided by 90. It will come to 1%. Take the unitary method multiplied by 100. That will be rupees 20,000. 20,000 is 10% is 2,000. And after deducting this 2,000, stock will be appearing at 18,000. The very important part. Stock is undervalued by 10%. Then the next one is a revaluation account. Fair note, revaluation account after drawing it, first item is buy stock. Increase in asset, 2000. Next one is buy creditors, rupees 800. If you read this, why? It is buy creditors. D part creditors include a contingent liability of 4000, which has been included by, decided by the quota at rupees 3200. That means, we have included in creditors 3200 for contingent liability to, to be paid, but court decided at it at 4000. Hence, by creditors is only rupees 8000. 4000 is the contingent liability decided by the court. 3200 is decided by the court. 4000 was included in creditors. Hence, decrease in creditors rupees 800. It is a gain to us. By creditors rupees 800. We supposed to pay 4000 but the court told to pay 3200. Hence 800 is the gain. Next one is your bad debts. In regard to debtors the following debts are approved are approved bad or doubtful. 2000 due from X bad to the full extent. To bad debt this is an expenditure or loss to the farm. Full extent 2000. 
and 4000 due from y insolvent state expected to pay only 50% we got only 50% of the state that is 4000 50% is 2000 2 that is again to doubtful debts 2000 now you are required to prepare evaluation account now the things are over now this is total of the debit side rupees 4000 now take it to the credit side and deduct 2800 that is by capital accounts revaluation loss transferred in old ratio of a is to b is equal to 3 is to 2 a is that is rupees 1200 4000 minus 2800 that is 1200 for a rupees 1200 multiplied by 3 by 5 that is equal to rupees 720 b rupees 1200 multiplied by 2 by 5 that is 480 now your capital account draw the proper format by balance brought down opening capital balance rupees 50,000 for a and rupees 40,000 for b then the next one being by cash account he pays for capital rupees 25,000 towards capital and 5,000 for one fifth share of goodwill that is 3 is to 2 sacrificing ratio in which it is to be distributed that is by cash account 25,000 by premium for goodwill account 5,000 in 3 ratio 2 sacrificing ratio then by reserve in the liability side the third last item that is rupees 10,000 in old ratio of 3 is to 2 that is 6,000 and 4,000 then then we have to write down revaluation loss that is rupees 720 for a and 800 rupees 480 for b that is a capital account debited b capital account debited to revaluation account debit side of partners capital account now we have to total this credit side take it to the debit side and find out the gap totaling of a is rupees 59000 b is 46000 c is rupees 25000 and balance carried down is for a rupees 58280 for b rupees 45520 and for c rupees 25000 and in the balance sheet as at 1st april 2016 after admission of a C that is liabilities rupee symbol and assets and rupee symbol will be there in the asset side we have building rupees 50,000 same as the old figure plant and machinery same rupees 30,000 stock rupees 20,000 2,000 increased I have already shown the calculation this is very important you can look at that working note debtors less 22,000 less bad debt rupees 2000 less doubtful debts rupees 2000 and in the final column we will have 18,000 bank rupees 5000 and cash rupees 30,000 that is 25,000 for capital and 5000 for goodwill in the liability side capital we have capital that is rupees 58,250 for A for B rupees 45,520 for C rupees 25,000 all the three total rupees 1,28,800 and in this uh, creditors have rupees 19,200 outstanding expenses rupees 5,000 and the totaling of both sides of the balance sheet is rupees 1,53,000 each and this is the final answer.